Now to a 10 news follow up. We recently told you why the public is powerless when it comes to fighting so called McMansions from being built in most parts of San Diego's coastal neighborhoods. Our tenders reporter John Horn uncovered why developers have it even sweeter than they first thought. A local developer practically tore down this single family home just after adding a closet and converting a garage to a carport. And one look into city code shed some light as to why. It, it, obviously, it was just a temporary deal. Dave Ish says the quality explains it all. Nothing was finished. It was this bowed out paneling, these windows weren't finished. He lives right near this partial single family frame on a quiet street in Bird Rock. Ish's home was built in the 60s. Newer ones nearby tower above. That is huge. Some would call that a McMansion. They're popping up in coastal neighborhoods across San Diego. Developers can build them with no public resistance. It's because city code exempts these homes from the lengthy coastal development permit process as long as the builders keep at least 50% of the existing home's exterior walls. They basically skirt the e reviews. But that's not the only benefit. Builders can get permit after permit under the so-called 50% exemption with no waiting period. Developer Ben Ryan got one for the closet and carport, which he finished in February. That changed the home's layout. He then got another permit with the 50% exemption for a second story, a master suite, and more. That first permit becomes the uh, basis for the second permit. Ryan says the serial 50% permitting simply allowed him to design a better home under the same rules. He says getting a full coastal development permit adds delays and up to $100,000 to a project's cost. John Horn, 10 News.